that was most necessarily your choice. How do you feel about starting out on the road? Well, at this point, I'm just excited to get started. Um, I'm going to be partial to Thompson Bowling Arena, so I'm going to want to play here as much as we can. Um, but it'll be it'll be good for us to get a, a road trip under our belt early in the season. Kelly, after the game last week, you were talking about kind of being eager to get in the film room and, and teach them through film. How did that first post-game film session go? Well, I thought the film session went really well. I think we're very honest, but I think we're also uh, use that as a teaching moment, teaching opportunity. So we try to be positive, and uh, you know, although at times we'll be critical, we want to be positive. And we really worked on talking about our urgency defensively and getting into position on defense a little bit quicker than maybe we did in our exhibition game. And then um, just talked about some little things. There was nothing huge that we talked about, but just little plays um, here and there. When you were watching that film and you look on the offensive side of the ball, do you see any specific areas where the team kind of needs to get better there? Our, our offense needs to get better, period. But we, we know that's a work in progress. I think, um, you know, right now our, our spacing, our timing, um, our passing, um, all those things can improve and that will improve our offense. And when those things get a little bit better, I think our shooting percentage will go up. Um, you know, when we're uh, hopefully our defense will help that as well, tra uh, turning some plays into offense. How do you feel about the options you have in terms of three point shooting? I said that was an issue last week, but I don't know if it's a one game thing or is that, or is that a concern? Well, I think if you, you know, you pulled the stats on this program um, last year, moving forward to this year, I think it's a concern, um, our, our three point shooting percentage. We have players that can make shots. Um, I don't know yet where that percentage is going to be. We hope that we continue to improve it. We are we have players in the gym. We have players in the gym getting extra shots up. Our staff has really been diligent about making sure that happens. And um, I, I think we're we're going to put the work in. Uh, so hopefully you'll see that pay off. Or is there a certain number you like to put up for a game or anything like that? Or no, you know I, I'm not the coach that's going to live and die by the three. I, I never have been. Um, but I've always had some pretty good shooters on our team. So I think right now we're going we're gonna to try to maximize what we have and uh, try to get open looks. The other thing we've got to do, if we've got an open look, we've got to take it. Because I think when you're shooting in rhythm, I think you have a better opportunity to shoot um, a, a better percentage, but you also have a better opportunity to board. Uh, and I think for us, that's going to be a big part of our offense. How do you take a team that hasn't shot it well from out there and try to develop I don't know if you want to say better shooters or just shoot a higher percentage of them. Well, you, you try to get easier shots. You, you try to work for easier shots. I think a few things, uh, it's kind of like bunting, I guess. We're going to try to get to the free throw line. You try to get some second chance points and you try to score in transition. Those are ways uh, that you can maybe find some easier opportunities. But also, um, again, when, when our players shoot it, I want them to have great confidence. I, want them, I don't want them hesitating. And, and hopefully we will be able to continue to give them that confidence as they get in the gym. Kelly, what did you learn from that exhibition about your rotation? It looked like in the first quarter you were, you were really solid, and then when you went deep into your bench, things start going up and down, but you won't probably do that in a, in a regular game. So I mean, were there things you learned about how you might sub or just you know what you might do in that respect? Yeah, I think the biggest thing for us coming out of the exhibition in terms of our rotation is knowing the limit minita limitations minute limitations for some of our players. I think we've got a few that are probably two minute max, two to three minute max at a time. And it's not that their conditioning is bad, it's just the level of focus that it requires to be successful at this um, level is, is tough, it's taxing. And uh, then we have, I think, some players that can probably go, probably we can stretch them out probably six to eight minutes at a time. So just knowing who those people are and being able to keep our our players on the court as fresh as possible, I think is going to be really important for us. You said you're obviously partial to Thompson Bowling, but I'd say you all probably, probably got a pretty decent amount of fans up in that area, right? That's I totally expect to see Orange in the gym when we walk in on Tuesday night for the game. I think there are a lot of people that are uh, have high expectations and some anticipation for what this team is going to look like. And, uh, you know, I know we've got a lot of Tennessee fans over uh, up, up in the Tri-Cities area, so hopefully they'll come out and support the Lady Vols. In preparing for ETSU, what have you seen from them on film and what are you expecting from them? Well, I think the, the hardest part about preparing for them, they have not played an exhibition game this year, and so we don't have current film. 
and uh, the two of their leading scorers are back, but they, they lose uh, several key players from last year beyond those two. They have um, several junior college players and some new folks. So, you know, for us, it's a little bit of a guessing game in terms of what their personnel will look like, other than we feel like we know their go-to players. Um, I think their system, you know, we can watch film from last year and get an idea of what their system is and, and the style and what they like to do. So for us, I think they're running a lot of uh, sets. We, we anticipate, we, we thought we could see a, both a 2-3 zone, a press, man-to-man. -man. We're trying to prepare for everything at this point. Um, and then we know we've got to key in on a couple of their perimeter players. Okay. Thank you, Cody. Thank you. Thank you, guys.